Shadowgun Wargames has entered beta test and showcasing some absolutely incredible visuals and fluid 120Hz gameplay on supported smartphones. It's a completely free to play 5 vs 5 multiplayer first person shooter which should be launching on iOS and Android simultaneously in February. I've been testing out Shadowgun here on the ROG Phone 2 and also some much more budget friendly smartphones and so far I'm definitely enjoying the fast relentless action and that emphasis on team tactics. Now one of the things I love best about Shadowgun Wargames is the fact that it caters to players of all skill levels thanks to the smart matchmaking system. Don't worry if you absolutely suck donkey balls at this kind of game because you'll be stuck in there with a bunch of other useless plebs and you can basically spend five minutes running around shooting the floor or the ceiling or whatever. And in further good news there's no kind of in-game store as well we can throw real life money at the developers in order to beef up your character with all kinds of awesome weapons and nukes and armor and stuff like that. It's a perfectly level playing field so rich buggers don't get an advantage. As a showcase for what smartphone gaming has become as well Shadowgun Wargames is absolutely up there with its console quality graphics. 120Hz displays like the ROG Phone 2s are supported, giving you stunningly realistic super fluid action at 120fps, ideal for fast paced games like this. And I definitely recommend playing on a gaming phone like this as well because the high touch response rate of the ROG Phone 2 means you'll be able to instantly react to anything happening on screen and perforate any sneaky swords you see trying to get the jump on you. Blammo! Now the Shadowgun War Games beta is rather limited in its current form, there are just two gaming modes available capture the flag and team deathmatch and the shadowgun war games developers have promised that more gaming mods are on the way so it's hoping for something a bit more original to really draw new players in capture the flag is exactly what it says on the tin you've just got to snaffle your enemy's flag from the base and then leg it back to your own base to score a point and you just need two to win so these games tend to be over pretty damn quick especially if no one actually bothers to guard their flag like in a lot of the games that i've played so far meanwhile in deathmatch mode the first team to hit 40 kills is declared the victor nice and simple and it definitely appears to stick together as a team in these affairs because splitting up means you're picked off far too easily and of course every time you die the respawn time grows longer so you'll definitely want to try and stay alive as long as possible rather than simply running around gung-ho trying to shoot everything. At the time of launch there are five characters to choose from in Shadow Gun War Games with a pretty good balance between them to suit all kinds of playing styles. You've got a basic grunt who can chuck grenades and heal mid-battle, you've got a speedy rabbit thing that can teleport short distances, a healer who can also blast enemies to bits using a rocket launcher, a sniper who can lay down mines for stealth kills, and finally a tank character who can take loads of damage and startle his foes with a mighty roar. The five characters do actually feel very different to players which is helped along by the fact that they've each got two individual superpowers which can be deployed at any point. However you've got to be careful not to just activate these willy nilly because they do take 30 seconds to recharge between activations. Now the only shadow gun war games map that I've actually had a chance to play on so far is Space Paradise which is basically a bright colourful outdoor area with various different levels and places to take cover. It's quite small overall so it's very well suited to the team deathmatch. The capture the flag games do tend to be over quite quickly, you can literally leg it from one end of the map to the other in just a minute. So here's hoping for some larger maps and a bit more diversity come release time. What's also surprising is that the Shadowgun War Games minimum system requirements are so bloody low. So for instance for Android you just need to be uh, an Android phone running version 4.2 or above with at least one gigabyte of RAM. So basically any smartphone bought pretty much in the last four or five years. And as far as iOS is concerned you just need an iPhone 6s or later upgraded to at least iOS version 10. So to test out how Shadowgun War Games would run on a more budget friendly smartphone I tried it out on this week blighter the redmi note 8t which packs a snapdragon 665 chipset and a basic three gigabytes of ram definitely very limited as far as its gaming prowess goes and you know what i was impressed by just how playable shadow gun war games was on this more budget friendly smartphone sure it did get quite janky to begin with the first time our team met the enemies in that central area definitely some serious dropped frames but you know what after that little episode it actually stayed fairly stable as far as the frame rate was concerned it was around the sort of 20 to 30 fps marks so not exactly super fluid but you know what if you don't have the latest super powered handset and you are desperate to play shadow gun war games then good news you can probably do it so right there is my initial impressions of shadow gun war games definitely a stunning representation of what smartphone gaming can truly do as we stride into 2020 with those awesome 120 hertz graphics uh, definitely be interested to play the full final release when it hits the app store and the google play store later in february now if you've also played shadow gun war games then definitely let us know your own thoughts down in the comments below if you're tempted or otherwise definitely be great to hear that as well and please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest games in tech cheers everyone love you